And if we need any help, we have the sun here to make sure we understand all of the deep Tibetan teachings. So, Lama, they're all yours, so good luck. Thank you very much. Really an honor. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody got oh, yeah. So, it, anyone who has a, um, which is probably all of you, a cell phone, on the Dharma Bums website, on the home page at the very bottom, we have added the PDF to the chanting book we're going to use. So, if you pull out your phone, go to the dharmabums.org and scroll down, you'll see the chanting book. Okay, everybody, thank you so much. It was very nice to meeting you. And uh, my English is not that good, but uh, my broken English, hope you can get it. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, I'm going to do is uh, tonight is a uh, uh, sadhana prayer uh, with a compassion. Um, together with JLSC, some spirit is uh, Avalokhi Sharva and uh, Zupanya. I'm going to do sadhana with that. Oh, first of all, um, I'm from Tibet. My name is Yurmen. And uh, I was uh, training in the uh, Vindrali Monastery in Tibet. And I've been to America uh, since 2006. Uh, most of my main job is an uh, artist in painting tigers. And, uh, yeah, and uh, I'd like to talk about this a little bit because uh, we have prayer. This prayer is uh, composed by Avalokh Shri uh, Buddha Compassion by um, Tang Dong Gyalbo. Tang Dong Gyalbo is uh, what some other people call him uh, how call Iron Bridge Master. Iron Bridge Master is the one he was very young. He's also the reincarnation of Buddha Compassion. And uh, when he was a kid, uh, he saw in uh, front of his eye there's no bridge and then um, how to call um, water wash up those carry and some people take out and then he saw so set and he sort of commitment to help those poor people who crossed the um, water rivers and since that he um, um, built a bridge tried to build a bridge he had to have money fundraise and he uh, started a Tibetan folk art to fundraise that. That's why he's the also our uh, founder of our folk art dance. And then he's, uh, of course, he's a great master. As, um, he sees all those uh, six realms uh, suffering. That's why he wrote about this. And then. Um, this is, uh, I think, it's uh, easy to understand. So we do Tibetan and English and Tibetan. Some we do three kinds, and some we do most uh, Tibet English and then Tibetan. Here is a we have um, refuge in Bodhicittas. You may all know all of those things, and and then seven prayer, uh, seven branch prayers. And um, I would like to talk a little bit about um, seven branch prayers, how to carry with your daily life. For example, we know the big names, everybody knows prostrations, but how to carry with your daily life, that's a big help for me. That's I hope I share with you a little bit, and I hope it helps for you. That's also what we call the seven branch prayer, is uh, First one is chatsawa, that's a prostration. Second one is offering chapatua. And then uh, confession. The, and the fourth is uh, rejoice. And then and then Kushin is a praise uh, request to teach it, uh, whether to teach. And then um, and then dedications. Did it, did it help? Can you hear me? Yeah. 
Okay. <laughs> 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 okay. This is uh, how to carry is a um, daily life. Now is the sun, not not only you, but myself. Sometimes we need um, practice. Is a too high, and then we're too low. Not really uh, care with your know, daily life. As if you really carry your daily life, that really helps for me. But like for example, um, prostration is an antidote of uh, anger. As in like prostration is not only from this up and down, not like that. For example, even when you, for example, go to driving long. One million people want to be in front of you. The way you don't know how to take that patience that makes you travel. Instead of that, this is the, to me, the prostitution in the dirt of anger, you know. Let's let the other go first, only oh, a couple minutes. You don't lose anything. And then this is build your uh, practice. And makes you happy. Oh, I did a good thing. And so I want to be formed and showing fingers. <laughs> yes, to me, it really helps. You know, one day I was in the, my son is a very young, he's in the Harukun cart, um, shopping the cart, and then we had a lot of things. One lady behind us. And then all of three of us, my wife and the three of us in the line, and lady has some cover, only cover um, things. That let's her go from the me because we have mother and don't want her to wait for us. And she's so happy. And then we were talking with him, we were joking, and then she did hers, and then I did mine, and I tried to pay. The cashier said, she already paid. That's the, that's the practice. Also, right there is a really, as this is the how to really carry your. Um, this is the prostration. That's why we really need to carry. Which is if you know, that's why you're happy. For example, driving is the one minute makes you accident and then suffers instead of that weight, patient. This is the prostration to me. And also offerings and offerings. Then second is offerings. Offering also when not only thinking flowers from the, you know, like that. Wherever you go, you see beautiful things. A lot of different even flowers, even girls, guys, and men. Because whatever you see, right away you offer. Not only just in front of statues, and also when you're working, you offer. If you're, if you're working at the store, you offer your smile. This is often people who you really need to know what you like. Of course, other likes. You like people smile, right? Not showing this, uh, how do you call it? A frown? <laughs> yes, because <laughs> so, uh, this is the really offerings. But that makes us happy. This is the really helps for me thinking this way. This is the offerings. And then confession. Confession also, even at home. Partner always not, we're not statue, not always smiling. Sometimes we are fighting. But let confession. Then it's a happy book. And then also one thing is rejoice. I really like this. Rejoice. Is, I'm always in the one son was very young. I'm teaching. It really helps for him too. And this is very young. Even kids to fight in toys, right? But I said, think about that. If you get toys before your friend, then you lose friend. Friend doesn't like you. First share friend that he's tired, then you can play. You have more time, then you're not losing your friend. That really helps. That's why I think we should to 
carry those things with the practice for the good. Otherwise, you know, you're thinking practice, and then one, someone says, what is more word than you angry? And I says, I think not really working for our practice. <laughs> that works for men. <coughs> Build more egos. I know this much, this more, this big world. Instead of that, the deal that really helps your for daily lives. Okay, instead of that, let's begin chanting. Um, if you have, you can follow. If you don't have, visualize. We have a vision of us. Uh, this is the uh, visualization deity for arms. White or four arm white. We do those um, first page as a refuge and then uh, book and second format of all prayers is a clean And then do we. For those who came in late, if you go to the Dharma Bums website, scroll all the way down, you'll see the chanting booklet as a PDF. You can open it up on your phone right now and chant along. It's all the way down to the bottom. There's a link right there. You're staring at it. Yeah. Is that good? What does the link say? On the home page? Uh, also, we can do a job. Uh, I, I can try to merge up the all encompassing benefit for sentient beings. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Above the crown of all sentient beings is a white lotus with a moon seat. 
upon which is a three syllable that arises as the supreme noble jealousy. He is luminously white and radiating out five colored lights. He is handsome, smiling, and gazing with eyes of great compassion. He has four arms. The two upper hands are joined in the prayer gesture, while the two lower hands hold a crystal mala and a white lotus. He is adorned in silk and jewels and wearing a deer skin on his shoulder. His head is adorned with Buddha Amitabha on the crown. He is seated with two legs in Doja Kyotra and resting his back on a stainless moon. He becomes the essence of the embodiment of all refuges. and three times, Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. I pay homage with utmost respect, flowers, incense, lamps, and perfumes, food, drinks, music, and so forth. I offer these in actuality and manifested through my mind. Please accept these assemblies of noble ones. From timeless beginning until now, all the ten non-virtues and the fine inexplicable actions and by my mind, under the influence of affective emotions, I confess all the negativities that I have committed on the Shabakas, Pratapurudas, and Bodhisattvas, and individual beings and others, virtues that they have accumulated and will accumulate in the three times, and in the merit they have gained, I rejoice. According to the wishes of sentient beings, benefiting the various capabilities of their intellect, on the vehicles of the greater, smaller, and common, I request you to turn the wheel of Dharma. Until separate existence is completely empty, do not enter into Nirvana. But with great compassion for those drowning in the ocean of suffering, I request you to look upon sentient beings. Whatever virtue I have accumulated may become a cause for Buddhahood. Without delaying further for all sentient beings, May I become the glorious one of the liberators. Back to page five. Five, nice second line. <laughs> Chazer <laughs> 
Sentient beings have experienced unbearable suffering. They have no other refuge besides you, O Protector. Bless them to achieve omniscient Buddha. Through the accumulation of negative karma from during this time, the force of anger gives birth in the hell realm. May all sentient beings who are experiencing the torment of heat and cold be born in your presence, Supreme Deity. Om Mani Padme Hum. Back to page 9.
through the accumulation of negative karma from beginningless time, the force of greed gives birth in the hungry ghost realm. May all sentient beings who are experiencing the torment of hunger and thirst be born in the supreme pure realm of Padma. Back to page 11. Yes, Krishna. Um, Last second line. Yeah. <laughs> 
He did this for the special uh, in Tibet, Sakya Monast near Sakya Monastery, and there's a bad disease like COVID. And he did this when he prayed and then it's that uh, over. As it is called the Sakya Nejulma. Nejulma is a uh, disease to use in the Tibet. And we should only do this in English and Tibet. Uh, all lovingly sentient beings equal to space take refuge in the Lama, the precious Buddha. All lovingly sentient beings equal to space take refuge in the Buddha, Dharma, and the Sanghas. All lovingly sentient beings equal to space take refuge in the hosts of Lamas, Yunams, and Dakinis. All lovingly sentient beings equal to space take refuge in one's emptiness and luminous mind. 
ามกายมาเอ็นดักกาบะเยเบสเจนตันเจลามาสเกจุปโอเจลาเยโซเจวมาเอ็นดักกาบะเยเบสเจนตันเจสันเยจุตากินเดนาลาเยโซเจวมาเอ็นดักกาบะเยเบสเจนตันเจลามาอีตาตันเจโซลาเยโซเจวอาณากาตันยันเบสันเจตันเจมาเสดอสชุดีกุลายะเซจิวโอมาเนเดนามาเนเดนามาเนเดนามาเนเดนามาเนเดนามาเนเดนามโอมาเนเดนามาเนเดนามาเนเดน The demonic attack, diseases and harm from spirits and so forth, all of the illnesses that discomfort the minds of sentient beings, may they never arise in the realm of this world. Like the animals herded by a butcher to the slaughterhouse, in an instant their bodies and minds will be separated. Likewise, however many suffering there might be of illness that take lives away, may they never arise in the realm of this world. Like those who have fallen in the mouth of the s h i n j i n the Lord of Death, and those who are terrified merely by the name of illness, the plagues that torment for the day are constantly. May they never harm any sentient being. May the eighty thousand types of harmful spirits, the three hundred and sixty adventitious negative forces, and the four hundred and four types of diseases not harm any sentient being at all. That which rob of the happiness and comfort of the body and mind, whatever kind of suffering of the imbalances of the four elements, may they be pacified and may beings have luster and power. May they live long, have peace and happiness, and be free from illness by the great compassion of the three rare precious jewel lamas, by the blessings and power of the d a k i n i s d a m a p a s and protectors, and by the power of the true of the unfailing cause and result. May all measures of dedications and aspirations that are wished here be accomplished. Back to page twenty-four, twenty-three in better. Let the Lord bless you. Oh, 
so well trained so the, the future is in good hands yeah. so thank you so much and uh, before y'all head out we do have a couple announcements from our Dharma Bum host Molly